So my last web shooter worked pretty well. Well, seeing guys wanted to make it, and that's when I realized it was super hard to make and it was kind of horrible. So, I'm going to make a new better one. In case you guys forgot how my web shooter worked, it had these removable cartridges I designed that had a chamber full of web line and another chamber for it to shoot out of. Then these web cartridges popped into the web shooter. The web shooter has this string dangling out in front of it that is attached to the magnet on the inside of the web shooter. So you can pull on the string and it will pull the pin out from the cartridge shooting your web line. The first thing that needs to be fixed in this design, it needlessly had a bunch of pieces that all needed to be glued together and was super confusing. The next thing we need to fix is the trigger. This string just was not cutting it. It's super hard to activate and it's super unnatural. I actually was struggling a whole lot to come up with a good new design. Then the human spider posted this video. He had an awesome trigger for his web creator in this video, so I thought I'd basically steal that. It's basically the same idea of how a bike brake works. It has this tube with a string running through it, the tube, so when you pull on the plastic piece on the front, it's able to transfer that energy, pull on this little piece in the center of the web shooter with a magnet that uses the magnet to attach to the pin and the cartridge. One other thing I wanted to do was right now, all the cartridges look the same, so you can't tell them how much web is in each one. So I printed out these new ones that say how much feet of web is in it. I also went ahead and made a cartridge that just has a dart with no web, just to mix it up. So let's go test it out. been an awesome project. I'm going to post a tutorial real soon so you guys can make your own.